the number two superpower in the world with every weapon known to man. 150,000 men spend 11 years can't catch the Osama and give up the Soviet Union gives <laughs> up they don't give up what are we lost have we no idea of what's going on in Afghanistan you know I have read stuff you know I always pick up weird stuff and I read the Soviet guy that got captured and they had him tied up and these Afghans killed a bunch of his buddies and they were playing ball with their heads and shit well I'm reading shit like this I'm going, God, I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea, you know, because <laughs> I've been I've been learning all this sh stuff way back, you know, way back, because I I kept my eye on the Soviets in Afghanistan. I read this stuff. It, they read like horror stories, and you know, the Soviets wouldn't let their wounded guys come back to Russia. They all went to Hungary, Czechoslovakia, to hospitals there for recoup periods and then and then eventually home and the the bodies would just show up in the town there'd never be any you know there was never any prelims and stuff and then buried you know so there was no you know and, and you, it was a draft well the, can you imagine the Soviet Union which you know is a pretty uh, serious dictatorship of sorts Right, where they have an incredible control. Hi guys. Draft evasion. Draft evasion was rampant. They couldn't find these guys. I mean, can you imagine where public opinion is against? You're sucking war and you're a dictator. Well, that's, that's a pretty bad war. They lost 33,000. And was Humphrey Scott dead? There was four of them. We lost 58,000 dead guys in Nam. They lost 33,000 guys 11 years in Afghanistan. I'm not even talking about Iraq, guys. I'm talking about Afghanistan. Every one of them were. We're not even in the ballpark in either place. And no possibility. We ever will be. It is just bizarre. And nobody ever oh, yeah. read well, the, any of this? Yeah, the voice didn't help. Nobody? Just me? Pretty hard. Pretty hard to believe.